So you're new in roofing sales and wanna make your first sale in the industry, you are in the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you three tips to make your first roofing sale. My name is Adam the Roof Strategist and I help salespeople and sales teams reach peak performance, have fun doing it, and most importantly, smash their income goals. So let's buckle up and go for a ride and chat about how you can make your first sale in the roofing industry. All right, tip number one is you cannot let your lack of industry knowledge hold you back from getting out there. I have a short story to share with you. Listen, I came into this industry, my background was in natural medicine and massage therapy. I was making $19,000 a year, living below the poverty line. I had to ask my mother for gas to fill my truck to go visit family for the holiday. It was not a good spot to be in, all right? So then I came into this industry and I had to develop into being a new person, a new person who reached a new level of success. So to reach a new level of success, we literally have to become a new person. We have to do things we've never done before. We have to develop new skills that we haven't developed before. So you cannot let this, well, I don't know enough to hold you back because no one's gonna hand it to you. This stuff doesn't come easy. No one in this industry just falls into it and makes a million bucks like that. It's not easy work. You gotta hustle and put in the work and develop these new skills. So find what resources you need to develop the skills that you need to make more sales. And if it's a lack of industry knowledge, if it's, I don't know much about roofing, hop on YouTube, go take a look at what, how does a roofing system work? What are the basics of a shingle roof? This stuff is everywhere. And if it's sales related, check out my playlist. I can, I'll be teaching you how to pitch, how to overcome objections, all the industry knowledge, pretty much everything you need to do to self-generate leads using direct mail, cold calling, overcoming objections, pitching, all that good stuff you can learn right here on this channel. So you cannot let that lack of industry knowledge hold you back, all right? I have witnessed it time and time again that a brand new salesperson will outsell someone who's been in the industry for 20 or 30 years and knows everything there is to know about installing a roof. Why? Because they're hungry. Now, there's a pot for every lid, as my wife calls it. It doesn't matter. There's a roofer that just drove by in a Toyota Prius, all right? I'm in a cargo van. Like, that someone, he's gonna pull up at someone's house and say, what in the heck are you doing here in a cargo van? Or excuse me, in a Prius. And the next person's gonna say, hey, I love that you're environmentally conscious, you're my roofer. Where the other guy kicks him off. Or I might show up and they're like, what the heck are you doing, dude? Right, and so my point is this, it doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, whether you're just out of prison, whether you have a college degree or not, you will be judged based on how you treat people. It is that simple, all right? So if you don't know what you don't no, know, that's okay. You can learn it. That'll come in time. Past this guy running here like three times now today. He's a fast runner. All right, now let's move on to tip number two. You need to learn how to accept hearing the word no. It's not personal. People aren't judging you for who you are. They're not judging your character. Rejection is part of sales, period. It doesn't matter how amazing you are. You could show up at someone's house with a wad of cash and there are still people who aren't gonna be happy about who you are or how you're treating people. It's just how it goes. So don't take it personal. Use it as an opportunity to develop your thick skin. And I'll tell you what, like before I got into this business, I had very thin skin. I was sensitive. I didn't deal with rejection well. It had to be a skill that I learned. And I remember vividly driving up, and I want you to look, you're gonna see it in a second. Driving up to a house like this, for some reason the size of the home intimidated me, as if it had anything to do with the character of the person in there, which frankly, it does not. So this house, this monster freaking home right here, I remember the fear of coming up, pulling up right here, and having to muster up the courage. All right, Adam, you got this. Let's go knock the door, let's go see what happens. And then going through this whole rigmarole roll just to go out and knock the door, and sometimes no one's even home. So get out of your head. Don't let that stuff bog you down. Don't let it, don't let it get to you. You need to get out and go do it, all right? So that brings me to step number three, which is to be relentless and hyper-focused on sales every day. It is, the sale, sales is like developing a muscle. It gets easier with time. You won't need to sit here and muster up the courage to go knock the door to get out of your truck and talk to people. You need to just do it, all right? Now, I just am getting into trail running right now, and I remember, I used to hate running. 
The idea of starting the run is daunting, but once I'm warmed up, once I'm five, 10 minutes in, I'm like, I got this, right? And every time I'm out there, it's getting easier now. My legs are getting stronger, my, my cardio is getting stronger. So every time that we exercise the sales muscle, it will get easier. And if you get out there and say, oh, it was hard, it's tough, I don't like this, guess what, you don't. But you, you can learn to, and when you are relentless and you go out there and you do these things, they get easier in time. And again, if you use like my referral strat strategy that I teach, if you use other multi-touch approaches like direct mail, all this stuff that I talk about and it's available in the battle pack, there's a link in the description by the way, and you watch my videos, my playlist on overcoming objections and canvassing and all that, it will get easier and you'll start making sales without having to knock doors, which is really the golden place to be. All right, that's all I have for this video. I want to recap three things for you. Number one is you cannot let your lack of industry knowledge hold you back from getting out there, all right? Number two, you cannot take no personally. You have to get comfortable hearing the word no. It's gonna happen, no matter what. And then number three, you gotta be relentless and fearless about spending every waking minute of your day out in front of people to make the first sale. It's the hardest, and once you make it, I promise you the rest get easier. Thanks for coming along on this ride along with me to help you make your first sale. Our time together does not have to end. All right, pop into my playlist, watch my other videos, find what skills you need to develop to start making sales. Is it canvassing? Is it acing your pitch? Is it getting more inspections? What is it for you? You can either watch the recommended playlist that's gonna show up shortly or browse yourself. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to helping you smash your income goals. Subscribe to the channel, don't miss any notifications. And if you wanna check out anything I mentioned in this video, click the uh, description, it'll pop up, show you all those links, browse at your leisure. And don't forget to get a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library. You'll get instant access to all the videos I've ever done, organized by category. And most importantly, don't end our time together. Watch the next video, I'll see you there.